You know, training for the Olympics or any competitive sport can take years of dedication, typically the family and career that get sacrificed. Not all the time, though. Chris Sadegi has the story of one former Texas Longhorn hoping to reclaim the shot he sacrificed by putting priorities first. If you want to be an Olympian, you got to put in Olympic work. Come on. Ten years ago, Hamza Diof started hopping hurdles at the University of Texas, along with impressive company. Training with a lot of great athletes, a lot of world athletes, Leo, Trey Hardy. Athletes who made it to the Olympics, a dream Hamza had, but gave up. I chose the route to build financial security for me and my family. This is what he chose instead. You know those lights on the top of emergency vehicles? Someone has to make them. We develop products to save lives. And that someone is Hamza. Working with amazing people is, it's, it's honestly, it's hard to come by. Phoenix Industries is one of two multi-million dollar companies Hamza has created since college. Jobs and security for his family and 50 others in Austin has left him no regrets, although he has always wondered. Every time I watched uh, any of those guys compete, I was a bit saddened in a sense. A quick start is key in track, and Hamza got off the starting line late, but he hopes to prove that it's not how you start, but how you finish. I don't think I can feel my legs anymore. Good. I don't, need, I don't need you to feel your legs. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Come on. A year and a half ago, and about 40 pounds ago, Hamza renewed his Olympic dream. You can tell he wants it. In the words of LL Cool J, don't call it a comeback. He's been here for years. Ain't no game. That boy, Hamza. Let's get it, son. With his businesses now established, he and coach Zach Glavish spend most days sweating and hurting. He's going to be ready to go. He's just going to, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Even his old coach with the Longhorns can still see in the athlete what made the businessman. He's going to sell people and he's got the great product and he's never going to no, take no for an answer because that's the same kind of work ethic that he had out here. Rio 2016 is what he is after. Nice, Son of nice. Libyan parents, he hopes to represent that country in the 400 meter hurdles, a country with just five athletes total at the last Olympics. But to have an Olympian represent Libya at the Olympics is a rare thing. If Hamza can hit the country's qualifying time in a competition, he will go to Rio. I just want to go after what very few people have the opportunity to do. I want to make the family proud. I want to make my wife proud. My wife has done a lot for me. She's put a lot of work to pursue my goals, my dreams. A dream delayed, but never dead. I want you to, I want you to hammer this thing. The chance of a lifetime after he planned the rest of his lifetime. Chris Sadegi, Cakes and News. Well, it's about eight and a half months until the start of the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. And as always, you can catch the Olympics right here on KXAN. Boy, that 